Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the 2007 VMAX. Uh, just a quick one here. Uh, anybody that has a 2007, they know that the factory horn it comes with is just about this side useless. So I went ahead on Amazon and bought a set of high low hellas, and I'll put a uh, copy of the page and stuff in this video. Alright, so we've got one. I basically took it off where it used to be mounted. It was kind of down. See if I can get this. It used to be sitting right next to the oil filter, a little bracket, and this useless horn. So I've got the low side here. And what I basically did is I went ahead and used that bolt right there. And on the other side, I ran the wire. You see the oil filter here. Let's see if I got that. Top of the oil filter is the frame, and I ran the uh, wire over the top with some loom onto the other side. That sits right there. So it doesn't look too bad. From up here, let's see if I can get a shot for you. If you look down there, you can basically see them. They're kind of symmetrical now, and the sound is incredible. Nice and loud. Not like the stock ones that were in there. Um, I like, I do like the uh, factory pipes. And of course, if you hit the uh, throttle pretty hard, they make enough noise, but they don't make the kind of noise that, you know, this bike makes with the uh, aftermarket pipes on there. But I kind of like them. They sound nice, and I definitely like the factory setup on this. However, the horn it was the biggest thing. I had people pull out with their stereos on and they couldn't hear me with the horn on. Anyway, the horns are nice and loud and at least people on the road can hear me now even when they're in their car with their music blaring. The other thing that was a pain, I wanted to replace the bulbs in here with LEDs. However, it's a special bulb that has three prongs on the inside with different elements. I couldn't find an LED replacement there, so I left those incandescent with the orange bulbs in there. However, in the back, all right, in the back, I was able to find the LEDs, and I'll put a Amazon page on it. They're really bright. They're like three times brighter than the regular ones. I got some red LEDs that went inside that clear lens, so even the tail light is nice and bright. And then, of course, this was covered on another video, the LED bar replacement of the useless reflector that was on there. So that's the way it looks in the back now. Of course, the only problem with those is they are designed to go into modern cars so you don't get any uh, lamp faults on the types of cars that can tell you if you have a lamp blown. And it had something in there about uh, preventing hyperflash, but that's not true. Um, when I first got them and put it in, they blinked at about two or three times the normal rate. So I just took the seat off. Of course, I have a Corbin here. And underneath there, you can actually see the wires on each side that go to those tail lights, And you just tap into those with the loads. And I'll put a page uh, picture of that also. You put those in, it has the loads. You get the LED bulbs. You should never have to pretty much ever change them again. And that's pretty much it. So that's some of the stuff I have going on with the VMAX. Again, just a short video. Just wanted to catch you guys up. Uh, right now is bike week. Of course, today outside is kind of a crappy day out there. It keeps raining on and off. But maybe tomorrow I can sneak up before I have to go to work this week. And that's it. I'll go ahead and get this on the internet for you guys. So hopefully anybody that has a 2007 and you're sick and tired of those wimpy horns, you can go ahead and get these horns on there. Um, again, they're inexpensive, about $10.52. Uh, it takes longer to you know make up the wire and make it look good and all that stuff. So it sort of looks factory and it doesn't look like something that was added on. Anyway, if you do it, good luck with the guys, have fun, and I think you'll enjoy the sound a heck of a lot better.